Uh, <laughs> I'm struggling with that word. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Say it C O N T E. That's not how it's spelled, but imagine it's Kant. Kant. Yeah, okay. Lovely, okay. So this morning. Ce matin. I realised. Je me suis rendu compte. That I had eaten too much. Uh, que. Mm -hmm. uh, je, um, yes, well done. I had. J'avais. Mm -hmm. Eaten too Mange. much. Mange. Now, what's my word for too plus, much? Plus. Uh, too much. Plus trop. 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 Plus trop. 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 So if I've got trop, that's an adverb. Where's that going to go in the sentence? That's the first verb. So. Je me suis. Rendu compte. Rendu compte. That I had eaten too much. Que j'avais trop, trop mangé. Que j'avais trop mangé. Because. Parce que. My stomach was big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Estomac? Mon estomac. Mon estomac. If it starts with an open mouth, eh, we don't even need to care about the gender. We just say mon. mon yeah? okay. How do yeah. you say my friend? He's a female. Mon, mon ami. ami. Even though she's a lady. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. So my stomach. Mon estomac. Mon estomac. We could say ventre as well, but mon estomac. Ventre is like belly. Okay. Was too big. Ete. Trop. Trop grand. Because. And uh, now, mon estomac. Yes, in theory, you could have. Grand if mon was still referring to a feminine word, but uh, estomac is masculine. It is trop grand. Because. How's the curve? This weekend. Uh, so, weekend? Okay, uh, I had eaten too much. Uh, J'avais. Mm -hmm. uh, trop mm -hmm. mangé. But. Mais. During the week. Pendant la semaine. Go again, gender. And the last. Pendant la semaine. Love it. It's weird. C'est bizarre. But. May I can Je peux. lose lots of weight. Uh, per, perdre perdre uh, trop lots of beaucoup beaucoup de poids poids P O I D S okay poids. so save me I can lose it. Uh, je per, hmm? le poids le perdre le perdre the verb order was beautiful. Go again. I can lose it. Je peux le perdre. I was able to lose it. Uh, je pouvais mm -hmm. le perdre. It's part of. Lovely. It's weird. It's. It's. Can I be any less subtle? It's. What am I indicating when I'm saying it? Neutral sentence. It's weird subjunctive. that I can. Okay. When would we have a neutral sentence and not have the subjunctive in the second part if it was a really boring adjective? Like it's certain, it's clear, it's evident, it's whatever. Okay. So um, it's... Um, what? Like it's, it's... If there was surety in the first one, it's certain that okay. Ginny is... Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. It's sure that it's... Um, okay. I am sure that even though, you know... Um, yeah, so anything certain. So, it's weird, it's nothing to do with certainty, so give me, it's weird that I can. C'est bizarre mm -hmm. que je, je puisse. Get in, lose. Perdre. Lovely, the weight. So, for me, he has lost, from the verb perdre. Il a perdu. Lovely. It's weird that he has lost lots of weight. C'est bizarre. Mm -hmm. Here, hmm? a spot on Ginny. Well done. The subjunctive of, of the have is good. C'est bizarre qu'il ait perdu. Lovely. Lots of weight. Uh, beaucoup hmm? de poids. Poids? Because he doesn't stop eating. <laughs> Parce que. Hmm? Uh, il ne. But stop. Uh, Arrêtez. So don't. Worry about ne until this, unless the sound comes to you straight away. He il, stops not. Il arrête. Il arrête pas. Thank you for meeting. De manger. Say that again. Il arrête pas de manger. Il arrête pas de manger. Go again by all means. Say, il n'arrête pas de manger. But the point is, what am I interested in? Arrête. I'm interested in the verb. And pas. Il n'arrête pas de manger. Okay. Lovely. But. Mais. Today. Aujourd'hui. Some friends. This is the truth. Some friends came from France to visit me. Oh. Uh, des amis. Lovely, or quelques amis, lovely. Came. Von... No, pause, pause, pause. If oh, I bien. said, pause, if I said came, show me with your hand which tense is that in, past, present, future. Oh. Great. Three, well done. Yes, yeah, so, um... So, before we go any further, say, 
Eleven. That's no pause. Your mouth is saying eleven because you heard they e. Yeah, they came. But that's a he. Il a ils ils sont venu. So make a mental yeah. note. If I gave you, how would you say George has chosen? George has. There you go. Now George. without even thinking, you didn't need to go. Il a. I'll swap in for George. Yeah, George. If I said they have, no. How would you say Luke and George have chosen? Luc et Georges a... No. A choisi. En choisi, isn't it? Because it's normal have. Ah. So people don't like <laughs> doing the days. Say for me, they have. Ils ont. Say the boys have. Les garçons ont. Good. The girls have. Uh, les filles ont. Les filles ont. Okay. Lovely. Say for me, Luc and John have. Uh, Luc et Jean ont. Say they went. Ils... Et verb. Et ils sont. Yeah, so again, they went. Ils sont. Went. Allez. And again. Ils sont allés. Luke and George went. Uh, Luke et George uh, sont allés. So you remember when we had the je me suis, the two te, il yeah. se, and nous nous sommes. Some I trained you, what am I about nous nous sommes, with the vous, I'm sorry, ils se sont. I trained you to go for the sur. I said, okay, so for example, how would you say he. Got washed, il se lave. Yeah. How would you say Luke got washed? Luke se. Well done. So you were taught to drop off the Luke and go straight for that sort of reflexive. Yeah. I'm asking you now to do the same thing. I'm asking you to be comfortable. So what are the most common auxiliaries we're going to hear? By far, they are going to be a for a single thing having, yeah. en for a single thing um, um what I mean the most common auxiliaries, I mean the most common auxiliaries where you're going to have a word before it other than je, because je is fine, you know, obviously a common one, or je suis. So it's going to be il will give me an a, il plural will give me an en. Mm. Talking about be verbs, il will give me an a, a. il plural will give me a son. son. So I need you to be comfortable, a, a, a and son. son. I need you to be comfortable to go a, straight a. into it, yeah. whether you're in be or have. The girls left using the verb partir. Um... The girl, don't use L. So the girls, les, that's my point, to ditch the L. Yeah, okay. Les, les filles yeah, yeah. sont Good. parties. The girl left. Uh, la fille. Mm. La fille. La fille est par partie. Good. How am I spelling partie? P-A-R-T-I-E. Good, well then we're not doing spelling week yet, but well done. Double E. Um, in that case, the, the only time you have a double E is if, you're, or, is if your password already ended in an E. So manger oh, okay. would then have an extra e. Yeah. You'd have one with the accent and one with the e. If your word ended in an i, so parti ends yeah. in an i, you put an e on the end of the i. Yeah, yeah. that's a p a r t i e. Yeah. Okay, okay, lovely. Um, so my friend Caroline. Uh, mon ami Caroline. Lovely. She has four daughters. L a. Mm -hmm. um, quatre, four daughters. Quatre filles. Lovely. Okay. Um, she uh, lives with her husband Frank. Elle habite mm -hmm. avec son mari mm -hmm. Frank. Good, or Frank in French. They met each other. Mm -hmm. What two feelings have you got there? You've got what kind of verb and what kind of tense? What kind of tense is in they met each other? Reflexive. Well, you've got the yeah the met yeah, the, the each past, other gives me the reflexive in the past. So what does that? What does that happen? What, what does that bring about? Poetry. Good. So they. Ils. Give me the poetry. Se sont. Great. Ils se sont. Ils se sont. Rencontre. Need the past word. Trey. And again, say it again. Ils well. se sont rencontrés. Good. Ils se sont rencontrés. Uh, you know, sorry. No, no, The word sorry. met, like rencontré and yeah. rendezvous. All the R, those R No, words. do you know what also gets people down? Raconté. The amount yeah. of time I get... Ran, ran. There's so many similar ones. Also, I'll tell you why rencontre causes a problem because you think to stop after the first rencontre because prendre, rencontre, but no, yeah. the verb is rencontre. Okay? Yeah. So they met each other, ils se sont rencontrés. Ils se sont rencontrés. 20 years ago. Il y a 20 ans. When she was living in France. Quand elle habitait en France. En France. En France. En France. Okay? She had chosen to go there. Elle a choisi. She had chosen. Elle avait choisi. And you're going to have to be careful because you're going to often hear she'd chosen. So she she'd chosen. Yeah, oh. so she'd chosen. Yeah. You were right. So she'd chosen is oh. what? She had chosen, yeah? yeah. 
So she, you said it, go and say it again. Ella Shwazi. She had, had. Ella ve Shwazi. To go there. Ella ve Shwazi. Uh, dale. Lovely, now, word for there. La. So we can say dale la, or we could use e as a pronoun. Oh. Where does the Why? e come before the long form, doesn't okay. it? So, yes. Ella ve Shwazi. Di ale. Great, okay. When she was there. Condelate la. Lovely. She met him. What's she? Elle. What's the him? Lui. She meeting to him or she meeting him? Oh, elle. Thank you. Do you see what I mean? It's him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So pause. Look at me. She met him. Which tense is in she met? Uh, past. So what's it going to have in the middle? Auxiliary. Good. So give me she met him. Elle. Uh, uh, elle. Hmm? Le. Elle. Oh. Right. Give me the elle. There's so many vowels. Say elle. Elle. Le. Now give me the give me the have form for hip she. Elle. Have. Oh. Say she met. Normally she met. Elle. Uh, elle a. Elle a rencontre. She met. Oh, I'm getting confused. Say so she say so she ate. Elle a mangé. She danced. Elle a dansé. She cut coupé. Elle a coupé. She met. Elle a rencontré. She met him. Elle l'a rencontré. Okay, only I don't want you to have to say it without the pronoun first. I want you to go, elle l'a, elle l'a, okay, elle l'a rencontré. Do you know, my, what, what, what I was getting confused with then is, I was thinking it was... An, they met each other or something. Was I was thinking it was an extra verb in the middle. Ah, That's I why I was getting kept getting stuck. Oh, I see. Because I was going, elle l'a, a... Okay, but... You're, if we, you and I met each other, then yeah, that would be nous nous sommes rencontrés. But yeah. if it was an extra verb for her, then that would mean she met herself, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or because she, if if someone is doing something to someone else, it's never going to be extra. No. Extras will kick in when it's someone moving themselves around, yeah, or whether it's some person doing another verb to themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty selfish verb case. If someone, if you've got the clicks method, I to you, you to me, us to them, it's not going to be extra ever, ever, ever. Okay. Um, so, she met him. Elle a rencontré. She met him. Elle l'a rencontré. When he was younger. Quand il... Uh, Pronunciation, quand il... Quand il était younger. plus jeune. Lovely, but... Mais... Now... Uh, maintenant, I was going to say ahora. <laughs> ahora. <laughs> Tien, tienen... <laughs> they have. Okay, so now... Um, maintenant... Uh, they live together. Uh, el, they. Uh, il. They live. Il, uh, habite. Verb form. <laughs> Present tense. Um, Come back to me. What form? Il, habi I, il habite. Now, now, notice your mouth is clever. But what's they live? Ils habite. Why? Because when you have a verb which starts with an open mouth, Vow. you're going to hear the S. Ils il, so they live il, together. Ils habite. Ensemble. Ensemble. Lovely. Okay. Uh, um, w one time, um, I was waiting for a child. Une fois, mm -hmm. j'attendais mm -hmm. pour... Don't eat pour. J'attendais un, un enfant. Un okay. Un enfant. J'attendais un enfant, okay. Un enfant. That I look after. Now, listen, I'm going to give you I look after, and then you're going to see how we do it the other way around. Okay. J'ai besoin de... I need some crap, whatever. J'ai besoin de la femme, the woman I need, la femme Donc. dont j'ai besoin. Je m'occupe du garçon, I look after the boy, je m'occupe du garçon, le garçon, le garçon dont, dont je m'occupe. So in theory this is great, but the point is to then just instinctively know that if you're about to talk about the need, if you're about to talk about looking after, if you're about, so people go, yeah but Luke, how am I going to remember to stick a dot in um, before those verbs? And I say, well, how is it you remember to stick a dot in afterwards? You've, it's exactly the same thing. I'm just asking, you, you now know, je m'occupe de. You know that. You now know, j'ai besoin de. Just learn, don't je m'occupe. It's exactly the same thing. You will just learn that one... There's no special rule. If you've used the de, we'll use a don. You will learn that the don automatically comes before phrases of needing, phrases of talking about, you know. So um, you don't have to do the English, you know, about whom I was speaking. So say for me the, the, uh, the bottle that I need. Uh, Phrase of need, the, the bottle that I need. La, bou la bouteille. Lovely. Oh, uh, Phrase of need. 
Don, mm-hmm. euh, j'ai besoin. Great. 